let's talk about changing our chart design, its look, and its feel. So the key here to getting started is right-clicking on your chart. Once you've right-clicked, you want to head to settings. Now we're going to make our chart settings our best friend in this video because this is where you can change everything you see here. Let's get started with appearance. So when you open your chart settings, go down to appearance because this is a, just a great place to start. So your background, let's focus on that. You have two options, a solid background and a gradient background. We'll show you both. So here's a solid background and just watch what happens to the chart as we click different colors. So you can see what we're doing. We are changing the background of our chart and all of these color combinations are available to us. Additionally, let's say we run our own brand, our own company, we're building a business or we have a specific color that we like. Well, there's a little plus button down here called add custom color and you can click this and add a custom color of your choice. You can also slide these color wheels to try to find a color that is really perfect for you. So you could have some fun exploring just this whole, you know, this whole color wheel here is available to you and you can probably see the chart changing as we move it. And so this is all possible right from your chart settings and what we're showing you right now in the appearance menu. Now for this video, we'll just kind of keep this at sort of a bluish color. Let's bluish purplish, I guess that's good to go right there. And that's how your background works. That's how you can change it. The next option is gradient. Now gradient is quite a bit of fun if you're looking to combine two colors together. We get a kick out of this. It's sort of this sunset relaxing chart. And if we can just click this color here and we can begin combining the colors. So the first color you see, this one is clearly the top part. And the bottom color here, this one here is the bottom area here. So we can just have some fun and change them as we please. This is pretty cool. We can do this sort of light blue mixture and it's just a new way to look at the chart. We are creating a custom color that is unique to us and this is what we want. It fits our style. And you probably have a different style and that's the key here. Right click, go to settings, click appearance and have some fun. Pick a chart that is perfect for you. Now the next thing we're gonna talk about is sort of adjusting the chart, you know, the specifics of the chart to fit your need. So you're gonna to wanna to go to symbol for this next option. And what symbol means, symbol refers to the actual symbol that we see here, the candles that make up the chart. So by the way, this applies to any chart type. So if you see, we have candles, symbol, and here are our candle options. If we were to change the chart, say to a line chart, or even an area chart, let's go to line for now. And then we right click, settings, symbol, you can see line here. And right now we have the color set to white, but we could do black. We could do uh, this sort of pinkish color or this red or this orange. And actually we'll move this along here. Watch the line color change. So you see it changing colors. And that happens right here, symbol and then line. It's where you can change the line color. But let's pretend that we are, would rather do a candle chart. So we're at candles, well we right click, we go to settings, we go to symbol. Let's move this over for now. And as you can see now, the symbol is set to candles so we can actually customize the look and feel of our candles. Maybe we don't want these borders. If we don't want these borders, well, and that's this outline on each candle, we can just match it to the colors we have selected and now the borders are gone. So this is your body and to get a feel for what the body is, just watch what happens when we uncheck this box. So the body disappears. So the body is the fill of the candle. So you can change the fill of it and green for up, red for down. So prices above where it opened, prices below where it opened. So why don't we have some fun? How about we do this light green and why don't we do this light red? And for the borders, we can go back to having the dark outline. So now we have this outline. And for the wicks, why don't we change the wicks to match our original body color? So we have the wicks now are these, you know, the wicks is this. It's this. It's the wick of the candle. We'll just circle it to really make sure we show you what it is. That's the wick. So you can control and change that color as well. 
So now we've created this pretty unique chart. We're not sure if this chart works for you, if we're ever gonna use it again, but we're having some fun. We're building a chart design that is just totally different, totally unique to us. And hey, maybe that's your edge or that's your style. Why chart the same way everyone else is when you can create your own custom process? So we right click, we go to settings. We're gonna move this over so we can keep our eye on price as we change this. Now your next best friend, of course, is scales. So scales, what is that? That is your price scale here. See us changing the changing this. We're just kind of expanding it or you know uh, making it more compressed. It's also your time scale down here. So your time scale. And if you watch, you can drag and hold these scales just as we're doing to change sort of the look and feel of your chart or it's just the time frame and resolution of it. Okay, look, we're at scales and this is an important aspect of scales because scales are where you are going to see essentially things like this, BTC USD price. So you can choose to hide these from your chart. So see, BTC USD says symbol name. So you can start to decide what do you want to show on the chart? Do you want to see the symbol name? Or would you rather just see the price? So you could just do this and only see live price. Or maybe you don't want to see any of that. Uncheck all of these boxes and look at that. Disappears. So let's though, for the sake of this video, keep, all, keep our symbol name here and our last price. This is really helpful because if you move between charts, it will always be there to remind you. You just can't get it mixed up. Countdown to bar close, you may find that this is checked from time to time. This is counting down how much time is left in the chart that you're looking at. So for example, this is a one minute chart. So this is telling us there's 40 seconds left in this candle right here. And you can turn that off as we showed you in your scales. So you can start to hide and show different things on the scales menu using this scales right here. Click it. Let's uncheck this box for now. Okay, now in the appearance section, there is one more thing that we want to say about scales. So we showed you how you can show certain information on the scale. What about changing the actual scale? Well, check this out, scales text. We can change this to 20. And now look how big the text is on the scale. Of course, that's starting to change the way the chart looks and it's throwing us off a little. So we actually would rather have it to be about 12. Uh, font size 12 for us is we can see price and it shows us enough information uh, above its current price and below it. We can also change the color. So if we would rather have red scales text, we could do that. But for now, let's just keep it as simple as possible because that's what we want to do is just keep it simple. Now your scales line, watch what happens. This is the line that separates your scales from your chart. So what if we wanted to have a yellow scales line? We click yellow. And just watch as we change the colors. Watch this line right here. You can see it's changing colors. And like we said, we're going to keep it simple. So we're gonna keep it at this dark black for now. Now, what's really important is there's also a watermark. If you check this watermark, now you cannot miss the symbol you're charting. And if you share a lot of charts and you want people to always know what you're looking at and what time frame it's on, well, just have your watermark on. And every time you share this chart, well, they will know. Your friends, your coworkers, uh, anyone who follows along in your research and your process, now they just can't miss it. So an important thing now about all of this, really important, is it's totally customizable to you. And remember that while you're creating your custom chart. So for example, this watermark may look kind of bold right now, It's maybe it's too much. Well, if you click the color wheel, there's something called opacity at the bottom, and if you drag this, you can make it disappear or be as, you know, as obvious as possible. It's the opacity. How much do you want it to be shown on your chart? So you can kind of blend it in and hide it so it's not as obvious. It doesn't take away from the chart itself. See that? It's now sort of this light color that's blended into the background. So we right click, we go to settings, and this is just really important stuff to know because it's also your vertical grid lines and horizontal grid lines. It's really important to that. These grid lines, you may have noticed them, we'll just make them really obvious. These are the grid lines that help you quickly match up price and time. It's sort of like you're looking at a graph paper or an Excel spreadsheet. You now have these cells that match up price and time to make it easy. 
and you can turn these on or off as you need. It's really easy, and remember, what we're showing you applies to pretty much anything on your chart. Click the color, and there is an opacity. You can make them disappear by dragging this to 0%. Make this disappear by dragging it to 0%, and just like that, they've disappeared. So that is totally up to you whether you want to show them or not. So we hope that this video helped and the goal here is to show you that you can customize your chart to your look, your feel, your brand, your design. And here's what's so important. Make sure you save it. Click this, make sure auto save is on, click save now and see it saving. It's now saved. You've saved this chart layout. And when you go to load chart layouts, well, here it is. This is the example video custom chart we're doing. Let's change the name to really make this obvious. We'll just call this blue, blue chart. Let's call it blue chart. How's that? And then we click save. And now we have blue chart. We go to load chart layout and here's blue chart. And if we want to start new, start fresh, we want to do new chart layout and we can do this all over again and then save it. And then when we go to load chart layout, we can have multiple saved chart layouts here. So we hope that this video helped. Remember the key is this right click, go to settings and just have some fun. You're going to want to start on appearance. Start right here and just get going. Change your chart background. You have all of your color options here. You can create your own custom color. You have watermarks, scales, text, scales, lines. You can change the font size. And then of course, in your symbol, you can create custom candles. You can also, if you wanted to, you could create a custom line. So now we've changed it to line and we could even just change the color of the line. Watch it here. And essentially what we're, you know, I, uh, in the point of this video, and we hope we really got the point across is the design is all right here in your chart settings. If you master this, you can have a lot of fun creating something unique. Start with appearance, work your way to symbol to change the actual line or the candles or the area, then work your way to scales. And then of course, you're, you're good to go. You're going to create a chart that's entirely unique to you and then make sure you save it, save now, see it saving, and you're good to go. Okay, we hope this video helped you get started with your chart design, creating a custom look and feel. Thank you for watching. Please leave any questions or comments below, and our team is listening and will do their best to help. Thank you.